Many people who grew up in Robbinsdale remember going to see movies at the Terrace Theater. The building has been empty for years now, but a group of people want to change that. 12 News reporter Shannon Slatton explains why the group hopes to see the Terrace Theater become vibrant again. I was the projectionist on the first showing. The build-up, the anticipation of a big movie. I was the projectionist here on the opening day of Disney's Lion King uh, back in 1994. It's a feeling David Leonard could always feel from the projection booth. I let the lights go down. The Disney logo came up. And the audience went absolutely crazy. It's like nothing I've ever known before. Pure pleasure. But when it comes to the Terrace Theater... This is where I met my wife. There's so many more memories. She was a cashier here. I was an usher. Our son learned to walk in this theater. David is one of a passionate group who wants to save the Terrace Theater. We had a lot of friends, a lot of great memories here, and it's just, we feel like it's an important piece of theatrical history. And it is. In its heyday, the Terrace Theater brought glitz and glamour to the suburbs. To think of it as much the way Travail is for Robbinsdale now, the Terrace was similar back in the 50s, you know, drawing attention to the town. There was nothing else done on this, on this scale. This was the best that America had to offer in a movie-going experience in 1950. It had a coffee lounge and a crying room for babies. This was the last of the great, big, grand theaters. But it didn't age well. A shopping mall butted right up next to it, blocking the view. Of course, when the theater was built, this was a grassy slope. And the once glamorous showpiece was chopped up into smaller theaters showing second-run movies. It was allowed to deteriorate. It's been more than 15 years since a movie has been shown at the Terrace, and it's currently up for sale. It's not in bad shape at all. An active group wants it to become some sort of gathering space that remains uniquely Robbinsdale. I think that a viable business should be in here, whether it's another theater or something else. You know, it's an important landmark in Robbinsdale. It celebrates our past. It celebrates, you know, something unique that Robbinsdale has that can't be replaced that you won't find in any other suburb. Some members of the Save the Terrace Facebook group have currently organized into a subcommittee of the Robbinsdale Historical Society. They plan to meet in January with the Preservation Alliance of Minnesota to look at different options.